Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your Miracle Mindset Monday for this week. So remember, with our Mi Miracle Mindset Monday, this is a generalized reading for the week. There are no personalized readings. If you would like your own personalized Miracle Mindset Monday prescription emailed to you every Sunday for Monday morning, then you are free to go visit my website, which is awakeningmiracles.org. So if you are interested in getting your own personalized Miracle Mindset prescription, you can go check that out over there. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. And so let's dive in to our Miracle Mindset Monday for this week. So this week, our Miracle Mindset Monday's overall message is all about transparency. It's all about really not hiding anything. So miracles are seen in light. That's what the Course in Miracles tells us. And the reason that perhaps we don't see the miracle or we don't see the thing that we want to see is because perhaps we're not telling ourselves the complete truth. Perhaps we're not being as transparent or as honest with ourselves as we think that we are. See, what's so key about honesty and transparency is showing up authentically. You're not having, having an agenda of your own. You are not going about trying to get what you want. You are simply showing up and then the world goes ahead and gives you the experience that you desire. But we have to be open, honest, and transparent, not only with others, but so much more with ourselves. Being honest with the way that we feel, being honest in how we're feeling. You know, remember, all emotions are, all feelings are, are guideposts to tell us when we're thinking with love and when we're not. That's the only thing that they're there to do. They're not there for us to hold on to and hoard for all of eternity. They're not there for us to, you know, try to latch on to. They are energy in motion. And so if we don't like the way that we are feeling, instead of hiding that, instead of trying to put on, you know, rose-colored sunglasses, we have to acknowledge, okay, this is how I'm feeling. Maybe you're feeling angry. Maybe you're feeling jealous. Maybe you're just not feeling good. That's okay. Step one is that acknowledgement. Step two is to process it in a healthy way. And the way that I tend to process things is I kind of look at, okay, why am I feeling this way? What is coming up for me? And, you know, maybe I need to go punch a pillow because I'm angry. Maybe I need to stomp on the floor because I'm upset. Maybe I need to cry. All of those are valid ways to process. And then release it, which means, okay, I felt it, I've acknowledged it, and now I let it go. I don't need to hold on to it because the more I hold on to it, the more it's only hurting me. It's not hurting anybody else. It's hurting me most of all. And then as I go throughout my day, maybe I am inadvertently hurting other people because of the emotion I'm holding on to. So transparency is key. Be honest with yourself. Be transparent with yourself. Be authentic with yourself to the best of your ability. To the best of your ability. No one's telling you you have to be perfect at it. No one's telling you that you have to do it. But this is just what I have found to be so useful. So for us to really see the miracle, we need to be transparent with our feelings, transparent with ourselves, and, you know, honest with ourselves. Because I love how The Course in Miracles actually talks about honesty. And it says that no thought, word, or action contradicts another. So maybe you're saying something but thinking something else. Maybe you're saying and thinking something but feeling something else. We have to be completely 100% honest and not have anything contradict. If there's a contradictory emotion, we look at it. We don't hide from it. So that is how we see miracles. We see them in the light. We see them 
in the truth. We see them by being transparent with ourselves. So that is our overall message for this week. Your overall message for the week is to be transparent, is to be honest with yourself in all areas of your life. So let's go ahead and let's go to the answer is simple. One of my very favorite decks, actually it was one of my very first decks of Oracle cards that I ever got. So let's see what beautiful messages we have. So the card that kind of just flipped off there is accept love. This is about, I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. It's saying that we have to accept the love that is constantly being given to us by the divine. And we have to be honest and saying, am I really accepting it or am I just being polite? And what do I mean by that? So when we accept love, it means we're we accept it. We say, yes, this is, you are giving it to me. And I fully, 100% accept that. I embody that. And, or are you just being polite? So let's say someone says, hey, you know, you have a really nice shirt on. Or, hey, you know, I see you're losing weight. Thank you. That's just kind of being polite. That's not really accepting the love. You know, it's just like two ladies in an elevator who are batting compliments back and forth. Oh, you look so good. No, you look so good. No, I love your hair. No, your hair looks great. You know, back and forth, back and forth. And then there's this like weird elephant in the room and no one's quite sure what to say. Well, that's because the love hasn't been accepted. And so this week in being honest and being transparent, we have to be willing to see, okay, where am I not accepting love? Where am I not showing up for that love? And in what way am I possibly blocking that love from myself? Once again, through honesty and transparency, we will see the truth of, of that. And you know, we have to be courageous in being honest with ourselves. We have to be courageous and to be transparent. And so in not only that, we have to laugh at the silliness that you know we ever thought that we could not accept the love. The silliness that we ever thought it was selfish to accept the love. The, you know, just laugh at it, be, have fun with it. You know, being honest and being transparent isn't about beating yourself up. It's simply about saying, okay, this is how I feel. This is how I feel in this moment. And do I want to continue to feel this way? No. Okay. So I can laugh at the silliness that I thought that I had to stay there. I can laugh at myself and I can move on. We don't have to stay in that energy, you know, and we can take it just by bite-sized steps. No one's telling you you have to do this all in one giant leap. It's taking bite-sized little baby steps and just asking the divine for that guidance. You know, what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say and to whom without that agenda? And if you guys are interested, you can, of course, go to my website, which is awakeningmiracles.org. You can go under the virtual learning tab or the courses tab. And I actually have my five days of guidance course and lesson, I believe it's lesson number two, which is a full hour of me doing a live, um, talks about letting go of your agenda. And you know, we had to clean up our mess, clean up our mess. We talk to God and we clean up our own mess. We're like, okay, this, no one can clean it up for you. We have to do that work. We have to clean it up. We get to decide. We get to decide how it is that we're going to, you know, go through that in whatever way. And then we get to look forward to the new emotion, to the new feeling, to the new way of being that we are going to be going through as we get to spread the light, as we get to rise and shine anew. It's never about going back to the past. It's always about being present in that moment. 
Be patient with yourself. It's not a one-time catch-all. It is something that we have to work at. It is something that we have to practice because we're not used to it at all. You know, blow off some steam if you're angry, if you're upset, even if you're sad. Remember, we talked about those different ways that you can process that emotion, release that emotion. You know, maybe you go to a boxing class. Maybe you go for a walk. Maybe you go for a run. Maybe you punch something. You know, it's whatever that is convenient for you to help you release that so that you can see the light, so you can see the truth. And stop all that craziness. You know, no, just basically just stop the craziness and allow yourself to not go into the fear, not go, not to continue that cycle of continuous thinking in that emotional standpoint. Like I said, transparency, honesty means this is how I feel. Okay, great. Let me process how I feel. Why am I feeling this way? What is coming up for me? Okay, great. Now I'm will now that I've processed it in whatever way, now I can move on and ask for that new emotion. I can release this emotion and I can come into a new emotional standpoint. But we can't we have to stop ourselves before we start going into this cycle, you know, that we constantly go into. So now let's go to the Oracle of the Angels and let's see what other beautiful messages we have for this week. <coughs> okay, beautiful. So our first card is the inner child. And so I'm going to read the affirmation for that one. So this is card number 22, which we all know yesterday, for those of us that uh, saw it yesterday, was the palindrome day, you know, 22 two, or 02022020. So now we have card number 22. Joyfully, I open to the magic of life. I allow myself to laugh, play, dream, and be silly. I welcome every situation with simplicity and flexibility. I live cheerfully in the magic of the moment. Once again, that is how children are. They do not pretend to know. They don't say, oh, I know what this situation is going to bring. They kind of just go into it and they go from there. Now, yes, are they sometimes afraid? Yes, they are, just like we're afraid. But the thing is, they're willing to ask for help. On the other hand, we have a hard time doing so. So this is this card is really asking us, be present in the moment, be here, be now. You know, meet each situation, each emotion with flexibility, with simplicity. Okay, I am angry, I am sad. And then be flexible with yourself. Maybe you give yourself five minutes, maybe you give yourself 10 minutes, maybe you give yourself 30 minutes a day to be sad. And then you say, okay, Timers run out. Now I'm going, you know, and maybe you don't wait the whole day. Maybe you shift it quicker, but you give yourself that opportunity, which then brings us, okay, so card number, we had card number 22. So now we have card number 44, believe in our dreams. And card number 44 is I, I remain confident and determined, even in the face of opportunities for growth. I draw on my inner strength to help keep me focused on my dreams. I rejoice in the success that is coming to me. So as we are in this energy of simplicity and joy and hope and, you know, asking for help when we need to, remember one of our other cards from the answer is simple was talk to God, was now we believe that continues to allow us to believe in our dreams. Yes, are there going to be opportunities for growth along our way? Yes. Are they always going to appear in the guises of something that's super comfortable? No, because we have to face our fears so that we see that they have no power. Now you can do that joyfully and happily by being in the here and now. You do not have to go through suffering. Yes, there are opportunities for growth, but we face each opportunity to grow 
for growth in the here, in the now, not in the past and not in the future. We handle it here and now by once again, acknowledging how we feel, processing how we feel and releasing that and asking for that new emotion, setting that goal as peace. I live in the here and now, always conscious of my act active presence within the universe and of my work on earth. I choose to live in the present moment. I am aware of what I create with my thoughts, my words, my deeds. I trust, for I know that all comes to me at the right moment. All comes to me as I have asked for, when I am ready. So absolutely beautiful. So we see that this week is all about honesty, transparency. It's all about us really being willing to be simple and flexible with the way that we feel, being here and present in the moment, saying, yeah, you know what? There are gonna be opportunities for growth and I can handle each one by asking spirit, you know, what is it? What would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say and to whom? So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being here. Those of you that join me on my ACIM support group, I'll be there in just a minute or two. I got to get a drink of water. And for those of you that are interested in your own personalized Miracle Mindset Monday or into looking into my free uh, five days of guidance course, you can go to my website, awakeningmiracles.org. So thank you so much for joining me and thank you for being here.